So I love video games and so do a lot of other people too. There's nothing better than after a long day sitting down and playing, but some people don't think the same. A lot of people think video games are a waste of time. You're not doing anything productive. However, in this video, I'm going to show you guys three really productive ways that you can use video games to learn a language in a way that you're actually learning while having fun playing video games. So you're going to want to stick to the end. So the first method I use is the descriptive method. Now, this method can be used in any open world game. What you do in this method is you'll play an open world game and you'll describe what is happening around you and what you are doing in your target language. Now, I've been learning Spanish, so I'm going to provide an example in Spanish of what I do while playing Minecraft to help me learn new words and vocabulary and describe the things around me. Aquí estamos en Minecraft. Estamos en un pueblo. Aquí tenemos un poco de arena. Ah, y aquí tenemos una casa grande. Muy, muy grande, muy grande. Ok, ok. Que abrirle la puerta. Ay, hola, ¿cómo estás, hermano? Lo siento. Que okay. abrirle la puerta. Y aquí hay unas escaleras. Hey, qué bueno. Eh, una huma y Lo siento, pero yo, yo sé que es tu casa, pero, eh, pero ahora me voy. Ah, una fuente rodeado de aroquines. Qué bonita, me encanta. Y ay, aquí es una granja con vacas y cerdos. La granja es muy grande, muy grande. Ay, lo siento, hay un gato, está bien. Hola, señor, tiene una bonita granja con patatas, está bien. Y aquí hay una casa grande, está bien. Una cama y uh, tiene un cofre con manzanas y pan y esmeraldas y oro. <laughs> Lo siento, pero voy a robar todo. Now, I've been learning Spanish for about seven months, so obviously my accent isn't perfect, but I was able to describe basically what was going on in the game in Minecraft, and in doing so, I'm able to learn a lot of new words and just real life vocabulary. So this allows me to keep this vocabulary in my brain for the next time I'm in a city or town. So I could say, oh, una casa grande, porque I know basically because of playing video games, that it would be second nature if I saw it in real life, which allows you to immerse yourself in the language while having fun playing video games. Now the next method is playing games like Animal Crossing, any game that has the ability to see the text on the screen and you have the ability to change when that text continues. Love this method. Anytime I don't understand a word, I will look it up, look up how to pronounce it, and then add it to my vocabulary with a flashcard. And then I'll review that flashcard in my own time as well. It is absolutely amazing because I'm immersing myself in this world, having fun playing video games while also learning everyday vocabulary. Playing Animal crossing in spanish I, it has allowed me to understand vocabulary around my house like my bed i know that's cama and all these different words that i wouldn't have known and learned other ways just because i'm immersing myself in the game and i don't even notice me learning it just happens and all of a sudden i'm like hey i know how to say that because of animal crossing and this works for many other games as well pokemon series you need to talk to people text will pop up and you can control the pacing in Stardew Valley, text will pop up and you control the pacing. And just like that, you're learning so much vocabulary for the game in your target language. My final method is playing video games online. You can switch the region that you want to play in and your target language of the game, which allows you to play with people in that country. Learning French, me and my cousin used to go on squads in Fortnite and we would just play in French with these native France speakers. And now I play with my friend Albury. He's from the Dominican Republic and we speak Spanish and English all the time. And it is great for both of us for learning because he's trying to learn English and I'm trying to learn Spanish. An example of me just playing and having Spanish conversations you're just having interactions with locals doing something that is fun you don't need to really understand everything in the language to play video games but you're gonna learn a lot because video games are super high intense sometimes when they're online and you're gonna need to say like there's a guy over there i have this much health you're going to need to learn how to say that and you'll pick it up pretty quick because it's a high intense environment. 
Also, too, you're just going to have conversations. Like me and my friend were just talking about our favorite superhero and our favorite actor for Spider-Man. I was going to play video games either way. So why not play with one of my friends, make a new friendship, and also learn the language and help him learn as well. It's a lot of fun. If you're already a big video game player, but you want to learn another language, you don't have to give up one to do the other. Use these methods, you can still play video games while also making some great progress in your language learning journey. If you guys are still here, hit that subscribe button if anything helped, and let me know in the comment section down below if you guys play video games to help you learn languages. Awesome, I'll see you guys in the next video.